Theorems on Chords of a Circle Part 1 In this module, you will learn about theorems on perpendicular from the center to a chord and circle passing through three points. Let us draw a circle. Let O be the center. Draw a chord, EF. Draw a perpendicular line, OM, on the line EF. Then angle OME is equal to angle OMF, which is 90 degree or OM is perpendicular to EF. Now, if we fold the paper in through line OM, do you think the point F will coincide with E? Yes, it will. Hence, ME will be equal to MF. This states that the perpendicular from the center of a circle to a chord bisects the chord. We can get the proof by joining OE and OF and proving the right triangles OME and OMF to be congruent. Given that the perpendicular from the center of a circle to a chord is drawn. Now, in triangle OME and OMF, OM is equal to OM, OE is equal to OF radii, and angle OME is equal to angle OMF right angles. Thus, by RHS congruency, we can say that triangle OME is congruent to triangle OMF. Therefore, EM is equal to FM, thus OM bisects EF. Hence proved. Let's see the converse of this. It states, if a line from the center bisects a chord of a circle, then that line is perpendicular to the chord. Which is also true. Let's learn its proof in next slide. Theorem 2. The line drawn through the center of a circle to bisect a chord is perpendicular to the chord. Given OM bisects EF. To prove OM perpendicular to EF. Proof. Join OE and OF. In triangles OEM and OFM. OE is equal to OF. EM is equal to FM. OM is equal to OM which is common. Therefore, triangle OEM is congruent to triangle OFM. This gives angle OME is equal to angle OMF, which is 90 degree. Hence, OM perpendicular to EF proved. We know that two points are sufficient to determine a line. That is, there is one and only one line passing through two points. Now, what can we say about how many points are sufficient to determine a circle? Let's find it. Take a point M. How many circles can be drawn through this point? We see that there may be as many circles as you like passing through this point. Now, take two points, M and N. Here also we can see that there may be an infinite number of circles passing through M and N. What will happen when you take three points, E, F and G? Can you draw a circle passing through three collinear points? Let us try. We can see that if the points lie on a line, then the third point will lie inside or outside the circle passing through two points. Hence, we can't draw a circle passing through three collinear points. So, let us take Three points, E, F and G, which are not on the same line or in other words, they are not collinear. Draw perpendicular bisectors of E, F and F, G, say M, N and O, P respectively. Let these perpendicular bisectors intersect at one point, A. M, N and O, P will intersect because they are not parallel. Now. A lies on the perpendicular bisector M, N of E, F. We can see A, E is equal to A, F. 
as every point on the perpendicular bisector of a line segment is equidistant from its endpoints. Similarly, as A lies on the perpendicular bisector OP of FG, we get AF is equal to AG. Hence, AE is equal to AF, which is equal to AG, which means that the points E, F and G are at equal distances from the point A. So, if we draw a circle with center A and radius AE, it will also pass through F and G. This shows that there is a circle passing through the three points E, F and G. We know that two lines that are perpendicular bisectors can intersect at only one point. So we can draw only one circle with radius AE. In other words, there is a unique circle passing through E, F and G. Thus we have proved the following theorem. There is one and only one circle passing through three given non-collinear points. If PQR is a triangle, then by theorem 3, there is a unique circle passing through the three vertices P, Q and R of the triangle. This circle is called the circumcircle of the triangle, PQR. Its center is called the circumcenter and the radius is called the circumradius of the triangle. Now, suppose an arc of a circle is given. We need to complete the circle. Let arc AB of a circle be given. We have to complete the circle, which means that we have to find its center and radius. Take a point C on the arc. Join AC and CB. Use the construction that has been used above to find the center and radius. That is, construct perpendicular bisectors of AC and CB and mark their intersection as O, center of circle, then join OA, the radius. Thus, taking the center and the radius so obtained, we can complete the circle. Suppose you are given a circle, give a construction to find its center. Let us first take the given circle. Now take any two different chords, EF and GH of the circle and draw perpendicular bisectors of these chords. Let these perpendicular bisectors meet at point O. Hence, O is the center of the given circle. Let us revise all that we have learned in this module. Theorem on chords of a circle, part 1.